We are back for more Base Sunday. Our next guest had an eye-opening experience back in 2008 when she traveled to Africa to teach young Tanzanian children how to speak English. So much so, it inspired to create a nonprofit dedicated to educating young high school girls in sub-Saharan Africa to save for their own education with the help of Shukuru. The goal is to turn the table on poverty and it's working. Let's chat with our founder, Joanne Longanilla. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good to have you on board. Well, let's Thank talk you. about that uh, trip. You're, uh, you go to mm -hmm. Africa in 2008. You're going to teach some English, and something happens. Something happened. Um, it was actually a really interesting story because my intention to go to Africa was to talk about and teach AIDS education. And my first day of my assignment, I was brought into a classroom full of teenagers. And I thought, oh my God, I have to teach English to teenagers. And I don't know, when I was a teenager, I did not want to be in class. No I did kidding. not want to be in school. And it changed everything for me. I mean, they were bright, they were eager, they were attentive, and just excited about education. But unfortunately, a lot of those students were not able to go to secondary school, which is the equivalent of high school the in America. Of, and there's a big problem with HIV and AIDS, because a lot of them end up taking care of their parents. Absolutely. Who get stricken with this. Um, and there's a delineation between the boys and the girls there, too. Talk about there that. There are, yeah. A lot of girls, unfortunately, um, and I think with a lot of culture still, is that girls are not recognized for their abilities and their, and their, um, their worth ability. Mm -hmm. If anything, it's more about, okay, how much, especially in Tanzania and, and different countries in Africa, is about marrying the daughter off. And so, or keeping her at home. So when the parents have a decision, they put the boys in education and the girls sometimes get married at 13. Absolutely, Some yeah. go into prostitution. Um, some have very difficult lives. Right, right. And the boys are the ones that are always moving forward and the girls are left behind. But time and time again, it shows how much the girls are, they're the ones that are waking up early, they're the ones that are the last ones to go to sleep, the last ones to get medical care, but you educate a girl, everything changes from their family to their community through their country. And that's what you're doing now. Tell us, uh, tell us about Shukuru. What's it mean first? Shukuru means gratitude in Swahili, which okay. is the local language in Tanzania. Very good. And I named it gratitude because my first experience there was about how everyone there is so appreciative, regardless of what they have. And it, it changed things for me. Well, we got a picture, and I, if this doesn't say gratitude, <laughs> I, not, not only for the girls, but look at you beaming there, too. This is what it's all it's, about, right? It is. It is. I mean, these are the girls that inspire me. Yeah. How does it work now? You get grants mm -hmm. and money back here in the States. The girls, mm -hmm. though, have to work too and then it gets matched? They do um, and actually with the girls in terms of um, their working I mean it's really an opportunity mm -hmm. and I think that's sometimes the misconception is that you know oh in America we have so much money which to an extent yes we do we are rich but we have opportunity that these girls don't have and that's what Shakuru is bringing it's giving them an opportunity to learn life skills, to become self-reliant, to have confidence, so that at the end of the project, they're not waiting for the next handout. And who's this young lady? Ah, this is Messe. Um, she is 12 years old. And when I initially interviewed her for the project, she wasn't sure if she could raise the chickens, you know, because there's a lot of chickens that she has to raise. And after you know being in the project and learning the skill sets and how to properly take care of chickens, she's excited. I yeah. mean, she can't believe that she's raised a hundred chickens on her own. You've been doing this since '08. Since well, since uh, 2009. 2009. I founded the organization and we launched the project in 2012. And quickly, uh, just how these girls have grown. You've seen some of these girls go through high school now. They and actually are starting high school in January, uh -huh. and that's our biggest success. We had 31 girls start the program, and 31 girls are starting secondary school in January. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, all the best. I know you go back here in February. You live there now, right? I do. I right. do. So that's why I'm back is to share the, you know, share the stories of the girls. So glad you did. Thank, Thank you, Joanne. You. For more information about the work that Shakuru does, log on to shakuru.org. That's shakuru.org. That's it for this week's edition of Base Sunday. We'll see you again next week. In the meantime, take care, everybody.